When creating an LDC module, the step teachers usually take after finalizing the teaching task is to list and define all of the skills students need to develop to meet the teaching task's demands. The finalized sequence of such skills is known as the module's skills list. And, of course, many tasks are then added to each skill on the skills list to complete the module's instructional ladder. Teachers have made it clear that sometimes they want to be able to either select from a list of predefined skills commonly addressed in LDC modules or to create their own skills from scratch. The LDC Core Tools module editor's add skill feature has recently been improved to make those options much easier for teachers. Allow me to demonstrate. In this module, you see that I've already constructed my teaching task and I'm in the process of developing my skills list before I add any mini tasks. You can see that I've already added a few skills to the preparing for the task skills cluster. So I'm going to add a skill now to reading process. When I go to do so, the new add skill feature pops up. This feature defaults to the select a skill option and it makes available to me a list of skills to select from that is comprised of commonly addressed skills from the cluster I'm currently in. It organizes those skills under categories. In this case, I decide I want to add the text selection skill from the pre-reading category. For many of these skills, once I make a selection, a suggested skill definition, which I can edit, appears. And I can now add this skill to my module. However, I often might want or need to add a skill that is not available from the provided list. I can toggle to create your own skill and give the skill any name I choose, and I can of course add my own definition for that skill. It should be noted that with the select a skill option, LDC Core Tools only makes available to you the skills appropriate for your targeted skill cluster. But if I want to add to any skill cluster skills typically available for other clusters, I can override by clicking Edit here. In this case, I'm able to add what are normally transition to writing skills to my reading process skill cluster. Also, right now, the only source of skills available for the Select a Skill option are the LDC default skills. However, in the coming weeks and months, we'll be adding alternative sources of skills for a wide variety of purposes that'll be available for teachers to select from. So be on the lookout for that.